Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? This review might be an old level that most of you will not have heard of, but it's important to look back and go over some of the key levels that made creators who they are today. Back in mid 2.0, almost every level looked something like this, and it's interesting to see how much production has involved with implementation of new techniques or tools in the editor. Let's just get right into it. Neuroshock by Venom and Guzzerth is a mid 2.0 hard demon entered into Viprin CC6. A grayscale scheme starts the level off fading into color after the short buildup to the drop at 9%. Several block types compose the majority of the level, though it feels messy due to the many clashing structures. Ground spikes add to this cluttered feeling with solid black masses covering nearly half the screen at exactly the halfway point. One of the strongest sections would be the 33% ship that is well organized focusing less on crowded decoration and more on the simpler but meaningful design creating a polished finished product. I can understand that the gameplay is fairly outdated compared to feature levels today, but it's confusing to learn and inconsistent once you know what you're doing. The obvious example of this is the duel at 84% where several timings are finicky including a luck based last click in my eyes. Invisible portals did not help this case when your gravity is swapped in an unreadable zero opacity portal. Indication arrows could have been used, but the effectiveness is questionable because they would get lost in the clutter. Falling just short of the mark, this collab unfortunately failed to place within the top 5 for this very difficult creating competition. Anthrax, now Pencil Dog, was mentioned as a large inspiration which was apparent after checking out a few of his levels. I was not the biggest fan of the free coins nearing the end of the level because I like to see the creator implement them in an interesting fashion, but I'm not complaining. The Cosmos by Mafia Pineapple was a great fit to match the fast paced atmosphere, though it would be hard to make a memorable level with Galaxy Breaker finding as much success as it did. In conclusion, there's going to be a lot of things to critique within a level this old, but for its time, it was adequate. I might have pointed out most things that I didn't particularly like, but there were a lot of sections that were unique to try and add a range of gameplay that unfortunately didn't end up working out. As I said before, in comparison with the time frame it was released in, this was the standard for almost everyone and the level itself was fairly good. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you all in the next one.